Hello and welcome back to your mat and welcome to this last class in this series of spring cleaning our body. So we're going to finish out today with moving through the joints a bit and a little bit for the mind. So we'll get started with a quote by Benjamin Spock. Trust yourself. You know more than you think you do. Now for today's class, you're not going to need any props, so we'll get started right away, and we're going to just start out doing some simple wrist rolls. So we're going to work through the wrist joints, rolling the wrist in circles. You can have your hands in fists, or you can have your fingers loose. Whatever works for you here. Just give them a nice circular motion. And then roll the other way. So we're just working through those wrist joints that we use all day. Giving them a little bit of love, a little bit of lube, lubrication, and a little bit of attention. And then I want you to take your hands and clasp your fingers and go ahead and stretch them out in front of you. Do a nice stretch. You can dome the upper back there if you like. And then let's go ahead and inhale and bring it up overhead any amount. Stretching those fingers up toward the sky so the palms are facing up. Really stretching through those fingers. Get in the shoulders a bit here too. Drop your hands down and come to all fours. And from here we're going to do a little bit of wrist work, wrist stretching. So um, back up if you need to and skip if you need to. It depends on what's going on with your wrist. We're just going to start with both of our hands turned to the side. So our fingers will be to the side of our mat and we'll be facing the front of our mat. So we'll start here with this little stretch. You can, lean, you can back off a little bit if you like, or you can lean more forward. We're just going to stretch up to the side for a breath or two. And then this is where you may have to back off a bit. I know I have to when I do this. You're actually going to turn both of your hands back towards your knees. So your thumbs are now pointed out to the side, but your fingers are pointed back towards your knees. And if you need to, you can back off a little bit here, or you can kind of you give yourself a little bit, stretching back a little bit more. That's really going to increase the, the stretch there. So I'm going to move forward a bit more here. And you can bring your knees closer, too, to help. So decide what's going to work best for you. The more my knees are further back, for me, that's a deeper stretch, and I can feel that more. And it's too much for me. So you just got to play around with this. You can always skip this. This doesn't work for you. I won't be here for much longer. Just another breath. And then go ahead and bring those wrists back. Give them a little shake there before we go into our next pose. And you can just give them a little, kind of like you were fanning yourself with your hands. Whatever you need to do. Kind of give them a little stretching there before we come into some hip rolls and a loose child's pose. So we're gonna to come to all fours again. And then we're just gonna circle the hips around and to the front. And you're gonna come into a loose child's pose here, down and then back up to the top of your mat. And we're just gonna roll it in circles here. So you're in, this is your kind of your loose child's pose and back up. Come back to that child's and around. Give yourself a little circular motion here. One more in this direction. And then we'll reverse direction and go the other way. If your wrists are still bothering you, because mine sometimes bother me, you can always come up on your fist while you're doing this. So we're just really giving the hips a nice circular motion there. Take the pressure off of your wrist if you like. And we'll finish up sitting back on our heels for just a moment before we're going to come to a standing position and we're going to do some hip circles while we're from standing so we're going to come on up stand wherever you want to on your mat and simply bring the we're going to start with we're going to balance on the left leg if you have a wall nearby or something to help steady yourself go for that because we are going to, have to balance here a bit but you're just simply going to roll that right leg out the hip area roll that out to the side so up down and back and back to the front so in circles you can have your hands out to the sides or on your hips find a steady gaze find a point to gaze at in front of you or again find a wall or a chair or something to help you balance here 
and we'll do another one in this way this direction and we'll come back the other direction so now opposite direction take mine out to the side and bring it to the front and back and up and out to the side a couple more times there I know this is also a balance challenge and release that leg down shake that out before we go to the other side so again, if you need to move to a wall, do that. Do what you need to do if it helps with your balance. We're really focusing more on having that hip joint in circular motion than worrying about the balance. If the balance is throwing you off, find a wall or a chair or something to hang on to. And go ahead and roll the left hip in circles out to the left. Do your best to balance if you are balancing. And if not, like I said, go ahead and find something to help you with your balance here. I just keep my little point of focus out past the camera. Let's go a couple more rounds this direction before we switch directions. And then go ahead and switch and go the other way. Leg might be getting a little tired from holding it up. So we get a little strength in there too, but we're also working that joint, really moving it through its range of motion. and then release that leg down. And then this next one is gonna be more of knee circles, and this one's not necessarily a yoga pose. It's often used in Qigong exercises, but we're just gonna do it for the knees because I wanna work on all of the, as many of the joints we can hit. So you're just gonna rotate the knees here. So I'm coming into a little bit of a, I've got my feet together, knees are slightly bent, and you're just gonna give them a nice little rotation here, carefully. We'll go in one direction and then the other. And then go ahead and reverse direction. Go the other way. And then from there, we're going to come onto our backs. We're going to work through the ankles. So go ahead and lie on your back. And we're going to go ahead and do one leg at a time here. So I'm going to go ahead and leave my left leg bent. I'm just going to raise my right leg up into the air, and we're gonna simply rotate the ankle joint on the right here in circles. You could do both at the same time, if you'd like to save time, but I'm gonna go ahead and just do one at a time, so really focus there, at least on the ankle rolls here, and then go ahead and roll in the other direction. Get a little fresh lubrication to all the joints we can, that we can hit today. And then go ahead and release that leg down. Now let's bring the left leg up. And the same thing, we're gonna roll the ankle in circles. We'll go one way and then the other. Rotating it around there. And then go in the other direction. Release that leg down for just a moment. So both legs are down for just a moment. Let them knock in. Knees are touching. Relax here just for a moment. And then you're gonna take both legs and stretch it up toward the sky and we're gonna point and flex the toes. So we're gonna point, toes will be up toward the sky or the ceiling, and then you're gonna flex them back towards you. So your, your toes are coming towards your face or pointed towards your face. They're obviously not at your face. So pointing and flexing, just back and forth here. Again, flossing through that and flossing the joint, but it's also going down into the calves, which is connecting into the knee, going into the, the hamstrings, the thighs, all the way up into the hips. So everything's connecting our body. So even though this class is focusing mostly on the joints, still are gonna get some ripple effect. Couple more rounds there. Hug your knees into your chest, and you have two choices. We're gonna come up to a seat here to finish off with a little bit of spring cleaning for the mind. So you can either rock up to a seat or roll over onto the side and come up. So I'm gonna go ahead and rock up. Go ahead and find a comfortable seat. I'm gonna sit on my heels. You can sit however you like. It could be on a chair, whatever is gonna work for you. But I'm gonna sit on my heels here, 
and we're going to do what is called alternate nostril breathing. This is a wonderful balancer for the two hemis hemispheres of the brain. So we're going to take our right hand and we're going to fold the first two fingers in. So we have our thumb and our ring finger is left out and the pinky is kind of just dangling there. So the right, the right thumb is going to come up here right at, at the end of the bone here on your nostril. It's going to come to the right nostril and the ring finger will come to the left. So for now, we're not going to plug them yet. Take a nice inhale and exhale through the nose. But what we're going to do is we're going to inhale through one nostril while one is blocked. And then we're going to exhale through the other. So I'll, I'll walk you through it. So go ahead and take a nice inhale there. Exhale through both nostrils. And then you're going to go ahead and block that right nostril. And you're going to inhale, leaving it open, inhale through your left nostril. Then you're going to go ahead and plug the left nostril with your, your right ring finger. Unblock the right nostril and exhale out the right. We're going to stay on that same side. We're going to inhale through the right nostril. Block that with your thumb. And exhale through the left nostril. Same side again. Now we're going to go through the left. Inhale through the left. Block that off and exhale through the right. Staying with this pattern. Inhaling through the right. Exhaling through the left. Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. If your sinuses are really blocked, you could also just submit can visualize this in your mind and not block either one of your nostrils. We'll go a couple more rounds. So let's inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. Inhale through the left. Exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Exhale through the left. Inhale through your left, and exhale through your right. Release your hands down. If you have a cushion or something like to set up on, a blanket, you can roll up your mat. We're going to come into a nice, comfortable seat here, or you can choose to lie on your mat, and we're just going to do a simple moment here, quiet moment in meditation. Don't let that word scare you. All we're going to do is just watch our breath in and out through our nose. If thoughts come, we're going to bring ourselves back. So go ahead in here and get comfortable, either seated or lying down. Close your eyes. And just notice your breath in and out through your nose. Don't try to change it. Just notice. When a thought comes up, and it will, gently Bring yourself back as if you were bringing a young child back away from something they were messing with. Just bring yourself back gently. It's perfectly normal for our minds to wonder, for thoughts to come up. The, the whole idea behind meditation is to focus on something. In this case, we're focusing on the breath. And when a thought comes into your mind, you simply bring it back. And you do that over and over again. And sometimes you'll have glimpses of 10 seconds or 20 seconds or no thoughts and other times maybe longer and sometimes shorter so I'm going to leave you here for another moment in quiet I'll keep an eye on the time eyes closed and just notice your breath in and out through the nose notice if any thoughts come to mind bring yourself gently back I'll let you know when the time is up
gently let go of your last exhalation. Let all that air, all that breath go from your, from your nose. With your eyes still closed, just come back to this moment here. If you wish to stay in meditation, please ignore me. Stay there as long as you like. For those of you who need to move on to your, with your day, go ahead and gently open your eyes. And that's such a simple, or at least it seems like a simple thing to those that may be looking inside at us or looking from the outside and wondering what we're doing, just sitting. But it can be very difficult for some of us to do this, and yet it has very profound effects. So I hope you enjoyed this very short but beneficial spring cleaning class. And until next time.